And welcome back. Tom Hartman here with you and Mike Papantonio, the attorney and host of the Ring of Fire radio and TV program, ringoffireradio.com, as the website is on the line with me. Hey, Pap, how you doing today? Tom, how are you doing? Very good, thank you. Good, I good. hope the same is true of you. Everything's good. So you're on a tear about BP. What's what 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 burr got under your saddle here? Well, it's not just me. What the, what you're having is the victims are tired of being called frauds. Uh, it's not about lawyers. It's about the victims who actually lost their, everything they have in some situations. Tom, this is one of those pigs at the trough stories that we're seeing coming out of the oil industry almost every week now. Wow. Uh, you know, BP killed 11 oil rig workers in the Gulf of Mexico in, in an effort to make quick money. You know that story. Their deep water, water horizon oil rig, uh, 11 people died. Before the, right before that, they killed 15 workers and severely injured 160 in one of their Texas refineries from conduct that was so egregious that they had to plead to felonies. Add to that, because of all that BP death and carnage simply to make quick money, we started learning the story behind the story, and here it is. We learned that between 2007 and 2010, 97% of all the oil industry OSHA health and safety and death violations, 97% of them were, came from BP. BP, Wait a minute, 97% nationwide? Nationwide. Of 97% all? of every time there was a violation that involved death and destruction, it came from BP. Came from one, one British-based oil company. company. Right. Uh, you know, BP, Tom, this is what, this is, what is infuriating the victims on, on, in the Gulf states right now. Uh, this is not a lawyer story. This is the victims that are so angry about this. BP has a criminal history that makes the Cosa Nostra look like choir boys. Illegal price fixing is at least a couple times, probably more. Illegal dumping of toxins, manslaughter, perjury, lying to Congress, environmental criminality, Tom, that's too extensive even to cover on a TV or radio segment like this. It, and it's not just in America. It's all over the globe. So now we learn... That, the, that their image as criminals has become so bad that in, in the Horizon case, that they've spent, just in the Horizon case, $600 million on Madison Avenue PR to build what they regard, they refer to as their good guy image. Mm -hmm. When you've killed more people than John Wayne Gacy and you had to plead guilty to, 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 to that slaughter, it's tough to make that image stick. So here's the story. What BP's new approach is, is to attack their critics. Right now, their angriest, most vocal critics are the victims in the Gulf states who've seen their environment destroyed. They've seen their business and income decimated. They've seen their physical and health, da health damaged. Be we don't even know how severe it is. Every time, every day, we're hearing a new story of a health problem. Their fisheries here in the Gulf states, their life, uh, sea life has been mutated for a generation. And this company, with that kind of corrupt criminal history is now in a full attack of the claimants. Mm -hmm. And it, the story, Tom, it, it, it's they're actually appearing in front of court, as you probably know, full disclosure, we're one of the firms that are handling the case against BP. Uh, understand, they signed, they had, they had their thousand plus lawyers review an agreement with the victims. And the agreement was, you make your claim, if you if you fall under these criteria, we will pay your claim. They, they went out to their stockholders to avoid uh, an uprising with their shareholders, and they told their shareholders it was only going to cost about $8, $8 billion. They were told point blank in court uh, time and time again, no, it's going to cost closer to $50 billion. But so what they've done is they've lied to their shareholders. I don't know who's going to handle the, uh, the case that comes out of that, but they've lied to their shareholders in order to keep their stock up. They, they now have to attack the victims so they don't have to pay out as much money. This it, Look, you know I handle the biggest cases in America against some of the most corrupt industries, all the way from tobacco to the pharmaceutical industries. I have never seen this level of corruption that we're seeing out of BP. Wow. And, and, you know, you say, full disclosure, you're a, a, a litigant or a participant in this. I would say, <laughs> therefore, you know what the hell's going on. Oh, I'm right in the middle of it. We're, you know, we're seeing, but the, what we're really in the middle of now is they, this is what they've done, Tom. 
They, they now are trying to, with this criminal history, illegal price fixing, illegal dumping of toxins, manslaughter, perjury, on and on, with this kind of history, they are actually calling the people making claims frauds, which is, ab it, it, it's, it's insane. I mean, there's no way that a fraud claim is ever paid by, by this facility, but this is the story they want to tell. And what they're doing is they're buying full page ads, basically calling people frauds if they make a claim, trying to get people discouraged from bringing claims because they're so concerned that they lied to their shareholders to try to keep their stock up, to try to keep their shares up. They out and out lied when they were told point blank, this is going to cost probably in the neighborhood of 50, maybe even 60 billion dollars. Do not tell your shareholders that this is only going to cost seven or eight billion dollars. So now the lawyers who lied about it that work for BP, the accountants who lied about it that work for BP, they say we're in big trouble now because we've signed this agreement. We had our thousands of lawyers review the agreement. They said sign off on it. We signed off on it and now we're trying to backpedal and get out of it. The agreement being that they would compensate people for the oh, yeah, damages. And Tom, they're very specific. They say this is what we'll compensate and this is what we want. The people making the claims are f falling right within that compensation route. There's nothing, th there's nothing untoward about anything. What, but, tell me about these ads. What do they say? I can't imagine what an ad would say that would cause me, you know, if I was harmed, if I, if, if I, it, 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 well, you know, I live on a boat in the river here in, in D.C. If, if somebody dumped a whole pile of oil into the river and it damaged my boat and, and, and I was thinking of laying a claim against them, I can't imagine what would be in a newspaper ad that would cause me to not do that. There's kind of a funny edge to this. They put out a call-in fraud number, an 800 number call-in fraud, and what they were horrified to find is all the people were calling in was the fraud that BP was was committing in the the overall majority of the calls apparently have to do with people who are victims who are say, who are calling BP saying we thought you wanted us to tell more about the BP frauds that they're committing down here on the Gulf Coast so they're getting more calls about their oh, own fraud incredible. than any fraud really taking place so so what they're doing basically is the same thing that the Republicans are doing down in 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 Florida uh, and Texas voting. and the southern states yeah. where they're saying, yeah, with voting, where they're saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, we got this horrible problem with voter fraud. Right. When really what they want to do is turn the voters into the victims. They want to get them off the, off the voting rolls. Very good analogy. I never really thought about it, but you're right, right on. The idea is if you create hysteria around fraud, then what it does is think about this. We have people that are in their terrible health. They've lost their businesses, some of two or three generation in the fishery business and the restaurant business and businesses all along these Gulf states. Uh, they've lost, for all practical purposes, they've lost their financial, they've, some of them lost their homes, they've, lost, they've had to pull their kids out of college, they've lost their automobiles, and it's all directly related to the crime that, that was committed down here on the Gulf Coast uh, where they've destroyed an entire ecosystem. Tom, you have right now a story just occur a story just showed up where where they the sperm whales in the Gulf are the most polluted sperm whales in the world and that has a direct relationship to what BP did here in the Gulf of Mexico. We have mutated we have mutations of dolphins, mutations of fish. We have the most bizarre uh, stories of sea life mutations that you have ever heard. It's, it, it even rivals what we saw with the Exxon spill. But nevertheless, they feel they have so much money they can turn this on the victims. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, boy, I'd love to get into you know the politics. Of the, I, there, there's so many dimensions. We're going to have to talk about this again, Pep. <laughs> Mike, Pat it's a big story. It is. It is. Uh, and you know, I'm I'm curious how this is affecting the political perspective of those people. You know, the the, the corporate owned yeah. politicians. Anyhow, Mike Papantonio, RingofFireRadio.com. This is the Tom Hartman program. And Pap, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank Great you, Tom. Today. We'll be right back. <laughs> 